Right, so yeah, now this is part two. So, yeah, so that's where all this paedophile stuff starts to emerge. Um, I think I've already talked about this, I don't know, but... Um, I'm not sure I need to go through this, but I think I do. Uh, yeah, so I reported my dad for things with my sister. Um, and that is how they, 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 they threw that one back on me in Lincoln Jail. Um, I've been through what happened now, I'm over that. But, you know, there's been a lot of people who have been monitoring me. Um, you know, and that's, that's where this mood stabiliser stuff started in 2014. Now, according to Dr. Roy, it goes back to 2005. I, I don't know the truth. I, I, maybe I need to look into that one as well. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, so I was, yeah, Signet Stevenage, they were, they had me on um, a high amount of olanzapine. Um, I think they must see me as a threat, uh, you know, well, I'm becoming a threat because it's a defence mechanism because they don't want me to live the life I want to live. Um, it seems, and I may have that wrong, because, you know, what was going on in, in Nottingham was gold dust, you know. And I think it was jealousy. I think they were jealous that I could create that. Um... You know, and uh, not be affected. Um, I, I don't know. I, I can't work it out really. All I know is I am where I am, and I'm very un upset about what has just happened. Um, and I don't know what to do about it. I'm going to ring my mum. Um, and this merry guy and just keep going higher in 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 all i mean i've got some other silly little twitch trying to knock me off my conversation piece now and it just doesn't work because we're not in highbury now um <laughs> silly fucking idiots um it is all about you matthew it is all about you don't let them think let, let them think otherwise and they can play as many tricks as they want, but as I said before, it is the devil's work and they can continue all they want to play any sort of silly little twisted little childish game on me. They, they, they choose to, but it don't work. Um, so I've got to prove somehow that this is all a load of shit and, you know, that could be difficult when you've got Signet Stevenage, Signet Derby, the Haston Centre, Norbury, Shelton, the Priory, Dovegate, Dana, Lincoln. Um, you've got, should we go to count them? St Andrews, St George's, St Andrews, St George's, St George's Medium. St Andrews, medium and medium to low, that's four. Then you've got Shelton, about between 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09. Uh, then you've got Dana Jail, you know, Dovegate, um, the Priory, uh, Phoenix. So roughly about 13, I don't know the exact amount. Um, but people are getting off on this. People are getting off on my suffering, um, which isn't really working. I'm actually quite enjoying it <laughs> because what they're trying to do is they're trying to make my heart fire off. Uh, they're trying to put me in a panic state. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to go through hell. Um... You know, uh, 
because I am in well over my head here. Um, I'll just have some idiot try and... I don't know what the hell they're playing at. I mean, I think this is another hybrid where these people are here to damage me deliberately or otherwise. No, it is deliberate. Let's be, let's be fucking realistic here. Um, and I don't know what to do. I really don't. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm just going to start making phone calls and, uh, and, um, and pray and pray and pray that the gods show me what to do here. Um, because, like I was saying to my mum, London is a dark place. It doesn't have to be, you know, it's okay when you're just passing through it. A bit like I was in, um, a bit like I was in, in Nottingham, you know, I was just down here for the day, you know, going around the buses and the underground and, you know, it's, it's okay, but to live here, it, you know, it's not really my cup of tea. Um, someone else trying to affect me again. Um, it, it's just pathetic and childish and they they will get their comeuppance and, you know, maybe they already are. Maybe this Dr. Roy's got a... I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a shit life because it's, it's the devil's work he's doing and... He doesn't, they're trying to space me out now, that's another one they're trying, I've, I've got to keep up with all this, all these little games they're playing on me. Um, because it is, it is underground work, at work. Um, but in my heart of hearts, I know there's people out there, a bit like St George, a bit like, um, like I've been set talking about. Um, the old school battles, you know, they can call that eccentric all they want. Well, they used to call it eccentric, they don't anymore, but he still calls it a mental health problem. You know, um, the S Syria, there's a holy place. You've got the, um, you've got the, uh, the old school, uh, I can't think of the battles now. I'm, my mind and my brain isn't working very well. I'm actually thinking of Rise of the Foot Soldier, which is, uh, a, a current film um, but uh, you know the Magna Carta and I've written about it all on my Facebook page James Raver Jordan um, it would be nice if I could get back on Facebook but I can't at the moment um, the doctor has given me a warning saying that if I don't take the mood stabiliser he's going to he's going to uh He's going to put me on something else. Um, and I can't, I, you know, I've tried seeing it from his perspective. Um, but he hasn't got, he hasn't got a perspective, you know. All he's got is what he's been told to do, you know. And that's the reality of it, is that there's a darker picture behind this, this guy. And he's just a pen pusher. Um, so, uh, so here I am, looking quite normal at the moment. 9-11 um, again. I'm going to speak to my mother and uh, let her know the situation um, that we're in deep. Um... And uh, somehow confront this uh, this this situation uh, because it is quite disturbing what he is describing. Um, and I've told him how dangerous I can be, but he also knows that I don't want to be like that. But he's given me no other option, and you know maybe he feels the same way about me. Maybe you know.